Good afternoon guys. I was just downstairs at my pharmacy, which is the reason why I'm kind of out of breath. I just did what I wanted to do yesterday. I went to my post box and took out a prescription, took it to the pharmacy. They have to order it, but they are so nice that they will bring it up to me when they have it this evening. So I don't have to go downstairs again. They are know how I'm feeling. They know that I'm sick and that I don't do stairs very well. So they are bringing me my stuff upstairs, which is very nice. And I'm very thankful for that. And I did get um, I did get a bottle of half the dose of my sleeping pills that I usually have because they don't have like the full dose um, pills but half a dose they did but only like six bottles so you know it's anyway I got one of those 40 instead of 80 milligrams so yeah it's good I will be able to sleep so my vlog from yesterday is uploading there are 21 minutes left and yeah all i did so far was edit yesterday's vlog and take a shower as you might be able to tell and went downstairs and oh i was able to do the dishes this morning which is pretty good at least for me hey Luz, you okay I want to say hello to the vlog? No? Oh, You're a good kitty. Most of the time. <laughs> I will try to catch my breath now and then I will see if I'm able to vacuum clean. Yeah. I will do some research today in terms of infusions and stuff like that because a friend of mine told me that you can actually order a lot online without having a prescription and since I have a lot of problems with eating and drinking as well I thought I just check it out and do some research if there might be something I can do to help my body um, get through this and also I have like I often have migraines and at the moment and trouble with nausea and all of that so I will do some research in that field the next few days and after that I will talk to my primary doctor I see her I will see her next Friday so yeah maybe we can find a way to get me up a little bit or at least be able to contain the state i'm in right now so i won't get worse but yeah not a hundred percent sure but you know Research never hurt anyone, so I will do that. Oh, and I will do my injection today if I don't forget, like, again. So, yeah. I decided I would probably not um, explain everything this time. I will probably just show you how I'm doing it and maybe write something um, down in the edit process. So, yeah, we will see. We will see. But yeah, that's it for me for now. And I really have to figure something out right now, I'm afraid, because my stomach feels not so good. So yeah. Um talk to you later guys. Good afternoon again, guys. Um I vacuum cleaned, I blow dried my hair and 
did eat like a small smidgen of soup out of a mug and it did not do me well to be quite honest so I made myself a cup of tea and now after I cuddled a little bit with my cat um, and washed my hands I decided to do my injection I already have everything set up over here I will show you real quick it right there oh there you go so this is a disposal box and this is containing everything I need to do my injection so yeah let's do this so this is everything I need and I don't have to operate on a stereo field or something like that because it's just an injection not like in my vein and not like in a port or something like that so I can just set it up right here now so I usually put this around my arm first so can do its work okay now damn it <laughs> I'm a trained doctor's assistant so I know what I'm doing and even if I wouldn't be by now I would know what I'm doing because simply out of experience and being a patient for so long okay empty <laughs> this is empty and I will throw that away then put in the syringe there turn it over and pull back so the vitamin B gets mixed with it. So there's that. Then you slowly push out sorry, you slowly push out all the air that's in the syringe. There you go. And you put on the needle. Give a little push. Okay, there is a little teeny tiny red point, so it's there's no um, air left in a needle as well. So there's that. This is all garbage. So I have my vitamin B injection now. I know my the location of my veins pretty well, so I don't really have to look for them or search for them and this is the one that gets used most of the time so yeah okay now guys if you can't see blood or and or needles look away for like 20 seconds so there is 
what is it there every needle is a little has a little hole you can see so push that in my vein open up I didn't even feel that one. I really, I literally didn't feel that. Because the needle is so thin. Now I can feel that something is injected in my arm because it feels kind of cold. That's, that's all. That's it. Literally doesn't hurt at all. I think the most uncomfy part is putting um, something around my arm, so I'm, so, a little bit of blood. And that's it. That's literally it. I will throw away the needle in the disposal box. And then, yeah, now I'm good for another week. I would like to put um, this in a teeny tiny uh, infusion, but, um, you know, you can inject it like this, so, and since I can definitely do that, I'm allowed to and have the equipment, um, or, well, got a prescription for the equipment, why not do it? Generally, I just made the experience that uh, injecting something in your vein helps a lot more than taking a pill that has to go through your stomach and all of that. So it helps much faster and it helps much better. And yeah, that is pretty much, I really, I prefer getting an infusion instead of taking pills. I really do, especially with the way my stomach is acting. It's not really the prettiest, but yeah. So, did it stop bleeding? I think so. Yep, yeah. done. So, now all we have is the garbage, which is plastic and a little bit of gauze, so. Nothing more. I want to put away the things I used in the exact way I got them and I like things to be in order. As you probably already know, especially with medical stuff, because if everything is has its place and its order, it's easy to find and it's easy to maneuver if you're not really feeling up to something. If everything is always scattered and you're feeling pretty shitty that day, you will not be able to get your thoughts together and, you know, really... You won't be able to be exactly like sure if you got everything, if you did everything right and at least that's it for me and yeah. I'd rather be sure and have everything in place so everything works when it needs to. Uh, and yeah, and that way I also can explain to other people where I have to, where I can find certain things um, if they are getting them for me or have to do something for me because I'm not able to. Yeah, that's it from me, from my injection, disaster, <laughs> whatever. Um, I will keep drinking my cup of tea and I will keep listening to my audiobook. I actually listened for almost three hours by now, at least today. So yeah, I will put everything away, throw stuff away and keep listening and keep drinking tea. See you later. Okay guys. So I have to tell you that my legs are starting to feel pretty stiff and to be
be quite honest, it hurts quite a bit, but I wanted to change my covers, so I'm going to do that, and after that, probably gonna rest a little bit. I'm starting to get cold again as well, so I'm gonna, I don't know. I still have two hours and six minutes left on my audiobook. I listened for three hours and 18 so far. Yeah. I can't remember when the last, when was, when the last time, when I changed the covers for the last time. But I think it wasn't so far, like so long ago. <sighs> but, you know. As I'm lying in my bed a lot and I'm sweating a lot uh, because of for you know different circumstances, but yeah. Um, I thought I will change them again because I really don't like it to lay in my bed with smelly covers. I mean, they're not super smelly, but not exactly fresh either. So. Ah, oh, we're you doing that. This is one of probably like one, if not the most cozy blanket I own. But I have a few others that are as soft as this, or almost as soft, so. I like these covers a lot, to be honest. They are, if you, if anyone is wondering, they are from Ikea and they were like 20 euros. I really like them. They're pretty and they are very nice and comfy, so there is that. This took more of me than I expected. My cat keeps wandering in and out of the room. I don't know what bit her, but yeah. Okay. I think I have to change. And oh no, I can't. Pharmacy. This pharmacy didn't ring me up yet. It didn't came. It's starting to rain again. The amount of rain we had the last few days is just... Outstanding, I don't know. Good evening guys, it is half past 8 p.m. Guess what? I'm a half hour later than usual. Well, who knows what will happen tomorrow. Maybe I'm going completely wild and go to bed at 7. But yeah, so 
I pretty much didn't do anything since the last time you saw me when I um, changed the covers on my blanket and my pillow. I changed my clothes now, I brushed my teeth, I took my meds, I did my fogol and all that's left is wait for that upload from the fry life, turn out the lights and go to bed and fall asleep. I did not continue listening to my audiobook because um, when I started the update for my iPhone to 30, iOS 13 and so far I have to, to say I like it so um, I'm still cold even though it's not that cold in here it's like 23 degrees but I'm, but I'm cold somehow I'm cold I don't know <clears throat> and yeah I will snuggle up and fall asleep soon. At least I hope so. I do have Norflex again, which is good because that means I can take it again. I had a break for like a few days from Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning so two and a half days where was the break I had oh wow why is this looking so weird you guys I'm confused I'm really anyways let's wrap this up again for the third time I will go to bed now I am in quite some pain I tried to eat something this evening I managed to eat some strawberries which was good and bad as you can probably tell um, but yeah I just hope I will get some get a decent night of sleep last night I woke up once the night before I didn't wake up at all so we will see how tonight goes i hope well i actually slept quiet for quite some time this morning and yesterday evening i fell asleep for two hours before going to bed but yeah i guess we will just see oh i did do some research on infusion stuff and technically i can buy almost everything I need um, online without a prescription which is kind of scary but you know not so bad if you really need it and you don't have another way to get it um, it is pretty expensive though so and I couldn't afford it for a long amount of time I probably couldn't even afford it like once so meaning 10 bottles and 10 um yeah well the setup for 10 infusions and 90 needles plus that so 100 needles and yeah doesn't matter it is way too pricey for me to afford constantly and even once is difficult so I will definitely talk to my primary doctor, which I planned anyway. And just hope we might be able to find a way to get me stabilized a little bit. So maybe me working at all in the future in your far won't be completely off the table. But yeah, we'll see about that between now. Good night, don't let the bed bugs bite, sleep tight, have a nice dream if possible and remember to keep on fighting. I see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>